Hola amigos and welcome to episode 53 of La Resurrección. I apologise it has been a long time since I've been with you but we are back to finish off the save. This is going to be the last season of the save. Just because the FM20 beta is just around the corner. But since I've been with you I hope you've been doing well. The support on the channel has been ever ever great. Great as ever. You know, whatever way you want to put it. Um, been very busy, you know, uni started back up again, full swing into that, all guns blazing, a lot of stuff going on with the Discord, with FM creators, link as ever in the description if you fancy joining. Um, but yeah, you might be able to notice something quite, um, you know, quite different about what you can see in front of you. There's a lot more room and badges and stuff like that. Um, the aesthetic, I'm gonna, that's what I'm going to go, what a fancy word that is. Um... Yeah, it's changed a bit. I've got a new PC, and my word, it is an absolute beast. And I've already played FM 3D as an absolute dream. Who knew? But it runs so smoothly, it's so beautiful, and we'll actually be able to get a bit of 3D in these videos. I'm going to still stick with 2D. That is my preferred mode. But replays can be in 3D. Why not? Let's treat ourselves. But yeah, it's been a while since we were together. I'm now at the end of November. In the last episode, we started the season. And it's kind of just, you know, it's kind of gone as every other season has, to be honest. It's been a little bit disappointing. Let's have a look at the... Actually, I was going to say league table. Let's look at the fixtures. Very mixed, as you can see. So we started off with a 2-1 win over Villarreal in the last episode. And then a very poor run of form. 2-3... 2-3. A 3-2 defeat at home to Atletico Madrid it was disappointing. We played quite well in this game, but their quality shone through. We then got absolutely stuffed by Valencia 4-0. Beat Granada 2-1 at home, which is always important. A rivalry. We then got battered 3-0 by Sevilla. It just seems to be one of those teams that always we are always on the receiving end of a hiding, let's say. And then 2-1 defeat away to Bilbao as well. The goalkeeper scoring an 88th minute own goal. You notice about these defeats, they're all against very good teams. So, you know, we're kind of where we should be. We're losing to the teams we should be and getting results against teams that we, you know, we need to be really. A one-all draw with Real Betis. Gareth Bale scoring for them, but Manoz grabbed an equaliser. Viacano, a one-all draw with that as well. We then picked up a much needed win, first one in five, three one over La Coruña. Two very late goals to seal the deal for us there, Jesus Manoz and Julian Draxler after going behind as well. We then got beat four two in the Copa del Rey, first leg against Celta Vigo. Um yeah, that was that was uh, upsetting. We were actually uh one nil down and then we brought it back to one all and I thought we would go to press on and win the game but we just got undone and then a one all draw against Real Madrid a check for Tad's equaliser really impressed with that and then most recently a 4-0 hiding by Barcelona it hasn't been the best of times so if we have a look at the league table 12 games gone or 11 well 11 for us and we sit in 12th place about where we were last season but it is still very tight as you can see only three points off the uh, Celta Vigo and then the European spots, they've sort of run away with it a little bit already. So in terms of how the team is getting on, if we have a look, you can see a lot of uh, names there. If we have a little catch up, so so far in terms of goal scoring wise, Jesus Manoa is our top goal scorer, which is a little bit bad assist wise. Not too much to speak of. Average rating and Cham and Sanchez have been our best players, as you would expect. Doesn't this screen look a lot more pretty with a new PC? But here we are. So today, two games for you. It's going to be two games in the league. One against bottom place, Sporting Chicken Goujon. And then away to Alaves. Two games that we could really do with a win in. And hopefully, we are going to respond well to that Barcelona defeat. So this is the team that we are going with in this game. It's as full strength as we can possibly be. Gambos is going to be in goal. Alex Robles at right back. He's actually become the more preferred option now, I think, to Inigo. Michael Keane and Flavio Ramos at centre-halves. Marcus Alonso completes the back four. And Cham and Sanchez in the middle. Two best players in our team, definitely. Paolo Confalone 
chances have been limited for him so far this season. Hopefully he can spring into life. Check for Tati in the number 10 role. Draxler out on the left and Piatek up top. Piatek having a very underwhelming season thus far. Hopefully we can get something out of him. I'll just catch you up on transfers as well actually because I've just realised that the transfer window ended after the uh, the last episode. So in terms of what else we brought in, I believe we met girls, but we brought in two signs on deadline day. Fabian Geifer, another option in goal. And actually this one was uh, a bit of a punt, as you can see. V really not worth it. He has played quite a few games for us, actually. Hasn't been brilliant, but he's now got a torn hamstring. And uh, I think I might send him back in January, to be honest. And then we also signed Mia Zajic. Is a Slovenian attacking midfielder who's on the transfer list. Got him from Wolves. Just another option. I've actually had this guy before in an offline save with Reading. He's actually a decent player. He's played a few games for us. And um, yeah, he's not too bad. So sporting he on the game for us first up. Hopefully we can get a win. First highlight of the game. Corner for Gijon and it's headed away. Only as far as Zerlek on the edge. Confoloni with a tackle and it looks like he's given away a penalty. It is confirmed by VAR. And he on the side bottom of the table with a chance to go one up. Risha slots it in the corner. A very good penalty. And he makes it 1-0. And not the start we had in mind. And as you can see, the graph is graphically looking a lot better. And of course I've forgotten to turn on replays but Kihon come forward again we're at sixes and sevens defensively Marcus Alonso with a throw in finds Sanchez and get the ball out wide Robles has got space can he get a ball in he does floats it but no one able to attack it and the keeper can claim that one easily but yeah just getting back into things it's been a long time since I've played this save and uh, the first time I played it on the new PC as well so just getting used to things I apologize but I suppose the best to get back into it and refresh myself before the beta for FM20 comes out. We've lost the ball here. Gomez he plays it across the goal. And well, the first shot hits the post. The follow-up saved by Gambos. Committed defensive suicide there. Hihon with the corner in. Gambos comes out to play. It's good goalkeeping. Marcus Alonso free kick. Bends one in. And Jack Fantasi is there. Look, oh, I thought he was going to be offside. The shot blocked. But we have the corner. Draxler to whip it in. And it's gone all the way through. And Tomic will clear out for a throw in. He rolls it out. And now he Hong can build from the back. And a long ball over the top. And Plaza is in. And it's a good save. But double save by Gambos. Again, danger not clear though. Rotariu back to Barisha. They still come forward. He Hong. And that ball was loose. But they get it back. Gundawan. And the chance is over. We are living on a tightrope. That is for sure. Well, well, well. I wasn't commentating on that because it started from a nothing highlight. So I thought it wasn't going to be anything. But a jam out of nothing has drawn us level. And look at the 3D. Here it is, isn't it? Beautiful. Who knew it was so good? But yeah, Sanchez plays the ball to Encham. He loves a long ranger. Absolutely arrows it into the corner. Keeper win. No chance. And he makes it one all. Mr. Dependable, Olivier and Cham. And we come forward again. Alonso with the throw in to Chak for Tadzi. We've got a spring in our step now. And Cham, Sanchez, can he slide the ball in? He does. Piatek, Confalone, he slots it in. Is it going to count? It looks like it is. And Paolo Confalone, we said before the game, he needs to spark into life. And that goal may well just do that. We work it from left to right. Bit fortuitous in a way. It falls to Confalone. Piatek. Oh no, he slides it in. I thought a shot was blocked. Very clever play by Piatek. Finds the youngster in all the space. In the four first half minutes, we have turned this game around. But the action might not be done before the end of the first half. Into Rotaru, and he hits the post. Plaza, and what a double save again from Gambos. He has single-handedly kept us in this game. And that brings us to half-time. Very even first half. But we somehow have the better of it. I say to the boys, I know you're capable of even better. Hihon can come forward. Alonso gives away the free kick though. And that looks, yeah, it's a red card. It looked like a bad challenge. Two footed apparently. And going down to 10 men is not good when we're trying to see out this win. And Ego's coming on. We've had to have a bit of a, a restructure at the back. 
But can we see out this final 10 minutes with 10 men? Here on with the corner, Gomez whips it in, tries to find Oliveira, it's headed away. Traxler collects, tries to find Piatek to launch a counter, but it just gives the ball straight back and Nikikon can launch from the back. Forward to Martin Zindi, Gundogan now. Bautista, lovely ball, finds Jerlek in space, gets the ball in, it's headed away. Draxler, can we launch the counter? It's two against four, he's going to go by himself, finds Piatek. More men join forward now. Sanchez comes forward. Sanchez shot from distance. It goes over the bar. Just a few more minutes to hold on as we enter injury time. And that looks like it's going to be that. Sanchez with a free kick. Comfortable for Fernandez, But I think we are going to seal victory in this one. We certainly made hard work of it. But we have come out with a very important 2-1 win there. Well done, lads. A great way to respond, I should say, to the Barcelona defeat. And now we move on to a mid-table clash against Alaves. And I'll see you for that in just a second. We are back for game day number two against Alaves. One of the things I love about having this new PC as well is so quick. Between games, it's just a breeze now. Whereas before, it used to be such a chore, even just doing a week. But here we are. It's coming around in just a flash. Four changes, actually, from the team that beat Hihon. Normally, you wouldn't change a winning team, but it wasn't the most convincing of performances. And suspension to Marcus Alonso. And that, that, you know, players not performing quite as well as they, maybe they could be. So changes have been rung. And this is the team. Gambos, after that fine performance in the last game, retains his spot. Robles and Ramos still in at the back. But Girlsbeck has come in instead of Michael Keane. And Rui has come in because of the suspension to Marcus Alonso. And Sham and Roland comes into the side, replacing Sanchez. Confalone on the right. Cody Barre has come in at number 10 in place with Chak for Tadzi, Draxler out on the left and Piatek up top. It's going to be a good game, I think, this one against Alaves. It's tightly contested like the last one was. First highlight of the game comes our way and it's a free kick and Cham, he hits one from outside the area, which we know he loves to do. And he bends it just wide, looking to place it in that bottom corner. Robles with the throw in it. Confalone finds it. The defender misjudged the header. Ball away as far as Mario Uina gets a ball in. Tries to find Piatek. It's headed away and Martin Odegaard gets on the ball. But his clearance is poor. And we retrieve possession once again. Girls pick now. Back to Flavio Ramos. Just trying to find a good forward pass. The centre half is playing it between themselves at the moment. And Girlspec has made the mistake. Ozes is in and we're punished just like that. Well, that was really frustrating. The centre half is just playing it between them. Plenty of forward passes on. You can see a number of players there. And Girlspec, no idea what he's doing. We'll see here. Just a loose touch. Out muscled too easily. Ozes, fair play to him. Pounces, runs through and absolutely smashes it home. And we are behind. Confalone comes forward. Tries to get the ball in, but it's blocked. And now Alaves can come forward again. Ozes, blow forward to Toza. Yarazinski now on the edge. Sangali, Benjamin Gari. They're playing it quite nicely, Alaves. Just needs Odegaard on the edge. Tries to bend one. His shot is over the bar. Fairly even game so far. We're having the lion's share of possession, though, but doing very little with it. Well, not much action in the first half, and it comes to half time. 1-0 down. I am not happy whatsoever with the way this has panned out so far. Maybe it was a mistake making all those changes for this game. As now Tozo with the corner. Sangali in the near post. A good header just over the bar. That is not the first start to this second half we could have done with. And Sham goes close with a good save from the free kick. And it's cleared away. Garo Pons to Odegaard now. Alaves play a really nice, patient game. Just pass it around the midfield, looking for good options. Good ball out to Guy. It's going to get a ball in. He does. Ozes is there, but Gambos comes to collect. Girlsbeck in possession of the ball. Actually manages to pass it forward. He finds Confalone easily dispossessed. That is poor. And now Alaves once again can come forward. Find a danger man, Ozes. And he... Goes past Rolon like he's not even there, to be honest. A good ball again out to Guy. It's going to get a ball in. He does. Ozes is there. Near post header. Unmarked as well. And he makes it 2-0 to Alaves. 
really poor performance from us. You see, guy is there with a good overlapping run. Ozes just goes past two defenders, free header in the near post. That is criminal defending from our point of view. Alaves look, you know, they look good value for their lead. I'm doing a shout. I never do shouts. But I'm telling the boys to show some passion because this is poor. I think we need to make a change. Kaidi Barre having an absolute shock us. We'll get Chuck Latadzi on. Stick it up to attack in. Robles, Confalone, maybe a chance for us. And Cham, he's shot. Oh, go on, get in. Oh, unbelievable. First shot blocked. Going to demand more. First shot blocked, second shot hits the bar. And then it rebounds off the keeper and it's cleared off the line. Right. Shouting galore now. Can we get a goal? It needs to be now if we've got any chance of getting back into this one. Higuain on as a substitute. Wines roll on. Jack Vitazzi. Draxler. Getting shepherded away but manages to retain possession well. And Cham to Confalone. Is there a foul in there? Off the ball incident. Going to VAR and it is a penalty. Well, well, well. Higuain is going to be the man responsible. Can he put it away? And he does. Straight down the middle. No mistake. Keeper commits. Doesn't get there. And Higuain from the penalty spot. Look at that. Straight down the middle. No messing experience there. But Alaves could get back in front almost straight away. Restore their two-goal advantage. And Toza. One last roll of the dice. Rui. Roll on. Flavio Ramos, so much space on this right-hand side. If we can get it out there, Chak Fatazzi goes himself, and that is that is poor. It doesn't look like it's going to be for us. We've left it too late. And as he tick over into the 96th minute, and that is it. A disappointed defeat. Just can't string results together at the moment. Really disappointed. Not happy with that whatsoever. And there we are. How a mood can change in about 10 minutes beyond ridiculous but if we have a look at the table leaves us in 10th place may get worse after the rest of the weekend's fixtures but a pretty bang average season I think that's been the story of our past few seasons to be honest it's just slowly got worse and worse which is not what you want in an FM series you want it to get better and better but there we are right I think that is going to be us I think we'll leave it a few more months and just sort of wrap up this season fairly quickly uh, if we have a look, we'll probably come back towards the end of the end of Feb, something like that. So maybe we'll come back for, uh, you know, maybe Betis or Bilbao. We'll have a look and see. And then probably the season after that, we'll finish this series off. But I hope you have enjoyed it, guys. I do apologise for the long layoff. But as I said at the start, the support still has been fantastic. I do thank you for that. As ever, a link to the FM Creators Discord will be in the description. Please do come and check it out ahead of FM20, the buzz is back and it is certainly in the Discord. So come and join in for chat with some very nice and like minded folk. And I will see you guys for the next episode. Cheers.